you know, one of the the things that that troubled me in the beginning is I when I first came across the show, heard Dan talking about biblically responsible investing, my heart was immediately convicted because I had been in the business for such a long time and had never even heard of it. And naturally, I went to my investments and reviewed them and the, the client holdings that, that I had and realized that I had unknowingly been supporting causes that grieve the heart of the Lord and violate my Christian values for a very long time without even knowing it. So I set out on a course to uh, truly repent and change what I was doing based on the information that had become available to me. Uh I took it very seriously and started to think about where I, where I spend my money. You know, I looked at Apple and I looked at Microsoft because I have to have a computer. I have to have technology to do my job. And guess what? They were both not biblically responsible. I looked at where I shopped, you know, Walmart, Amazon, not biblically responsible. Um, so I started to get very discouraged. And, and so I took it to the Lord in prayer and what the Lord deciphered for me is that there's a difference between ownership or what the scripture calls stewardship, because we don't really own it. God owns it. We just stewardship, steward it, and patronage where you exchange your money for a good or a service. So when you invest in a company, you're taking what the world calls an ownership position in it. So you retain the responsibility for how that money is used. So if the company is then using shareholder money, um, which it, which belongs to me, which belongs to the Lord, to um, pay their employees benefits to go to a different state to get an abortion, to sponsor a gay pride parade, to um, process payments for a company that's disseminating child porn, those are all things that don't line up with our Christian values. And as Christians, we're praying against those things every day. So we do not want to fund the kingdom of darkness with that money. Now, the difference with patronage is that whenever you buy a good or a service, you're exchanging your money for that good or service. You no longer retain responsibility for what happens with that money. The responsibility now belongs to the company that you gave the money to in exchange for a good or a service. So, Investing, you still retain responsibility. Patronage, you don't. So I, I hope that helps some of you make that clarification in your mind because, you know, I started to really um, question in the beginning if biblically responsible investing was something that I could even do or, or needed to do. And the Lord helped me clear that up. So hope that helps. <laughs> 